Hello everyone, thanks for joining us again. This is Aaron, I'm here with Chris Schaefer again. Uh, as we're doing a series of videos for uh, the month of October for Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Chris, thanks for your time last week when we looked at uh, understanding what we actually own so we can know how to protect it. Can you tell us a little bit more about vulnerability management? Yeah, so Control 3 is uh, you know vulnerability management. Um, it's actually a way of creating the inventory for Control 1 and 2 as well. So there are all products out there that allow you to do uh, passive and active discovery combined with looking at the vulnerability data from them, right? So um, there's a variety of different mechanisms for prioritizing vulnerabilities, um, but it's all basically built off of the CVSS score, which is the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. Um, and that lets us look at how critical a vulnerability is um, in real time. So as people, uh, security researchers, uh, find vulnerabilities in software, they you know, responsibly they disclose to the manufacturers and then they eventually publish the vulnerability for consumption. And by doing vulnerability management, we maintain an inventory of our assets and then what vulnerabilities exist on them. Uh, and you know, some vulnerabilities are you know, um, potentially high on the CVSS score, but they're not really high for us. So it's important when you look at those systems to imply um, like contextual information to it as well, not just uh, relying raw on the score, but like, um, especially DFT customers and you know industrial customers, they might have systems that they're never gonna be able to patch. So it's important to understand what vulnerabilities exist on them, what defenses to put in place around them to, because you can't patch them. So there's, there's some layers to the cake there. And then for the other systems, it's important to understand like how critical the vulnerability is on on the other direction, right? If you have an internet facing system, you might want to patch those substantially faster than your normal system. Like you can't patch everything instantly all at once. So it's a fine balance to strike, but continuously assessing what vulnerabilities you have gives you the information you need to be able to make the decisions. If you don't have the information, you're kind of just driving the car uh, with a blindfold on. Excellent. Thank you, Chris. This is really good information. Uh, we hope you all can join us again next week as we dive in a little bit deeper.